really phenomenal, phenomenal work. And uh, I'm going to uh, run through it and talk about it uh, right now. Uh, this is a really phenomenal sheath. I've had this for several months now, um, and I absolutely could not be happier with it. Uh, as it's it's a scout carry or horizontal carry, however you prefer to to call that. I didn't get any other attachments, although I'm I'm fairly certain, and don't quote me on this, but I'm fairly certain um, that you can get a dangler attachment, drop leg attachment, whatever, um, added onto this, so you can have options for carry. Uh, I got this one with the ferro rod holder. And this Bravo one came with the matching fire steel. But uh, it's a really good, really robust uh, loop. Definitely no concerns with that whatsoever. And the retention system, if your knife is, is able to, to have this, it's uh, just a normal uh, flip over with a nice little press stud here. I believe that's what it's called. If any of the terms are wrong, just uh, forgive me for that. And a really great feature is that it, it swings, it pivots out of the way. Um, if I can move the strap here, I'll show you. He's got on a screw pivot here. So you can pivot that around however you want. Um, I've had no issues with this whatsoever. It's phenomenal. It, uh, it does a great job. Never gets in the way. Sorry about that. Never gets in the way. <laughs> So let's get the knife out of the way. So, if you look there, really high grain leather. This is dyed, uh, I believe it's a light brown. He has several uh, choices. I think there's seven of them. Choices for, uh, for color. Brass fittings. Really nice snap buttons here. So you can take them off. You don't have to take your belt off that way. You can just uh, feed it through, uh, feed the loops through your belt rather, and then just clip it back over top. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now I opted for the uh, pouch. You can get it with or without the pouch and uh, with or without the ferro rod holder. So you can just get the plain sheath. Uh, I opted for the, what I'm calling a tinder pouch. Very excellent retention on it. I haven't had that loosen up on me yet in any kind of negative way. Now uh, in there I've just got some goodies, some tinder pouches, wrapped in duct tape. Got some chaga. I can get everything out here. I've got uh, quite a good strip of birch bark wrapped in duct tape. So it's a bit of an extender in and of itself, but it keeps the birch bark nice and tight. If I can get this out. Another tinder pouch, which is just cotton ball Vaseline uh, wrapped in tin foil, wrapped in duct tape. I don't have a video on how to make those yet, but uh, skip over to Spartan John's and uh, check out Dennis's video on that. He does a great video on it. Um, what else have I got in here? And a chunk of fat wood that I've uh, cut down to uh, to fit the pouch. Um, now usually I just I ran out of them. But normally I have uh, a little bit of wet fire that I'll keep in the pouch and not so many of these cotton ball Vaseline. But I mean, cotton ball Vaseline uh, works phenomenal in any kind of weather. I've never had any issue uh, using them to, to light fire. But anyways, so that's what's in there. Everything goes back in pretty snug. And there's still room to spare. I mean, I can still get quite a bit of stuff in here. Make sure I put my jog in first. My last pouch. And then really stiff leather. Excellent little retention strap there. Back over the press stud we go. Hopefully this has all been in frame. <laughs> but it's just, it's so awesome. Look at the double stitching there. Let me hold it right side up. You know, it's just phenomenal craftsmanship in the work is just excellent. You know, I've had quite a few knives that I've gone through trying to find ones that worked for me. So I've had a lot of sheaths. I've had some good ones, had some horrible ones, you know. 
had some that were just okay. And this this ranks in the top. I mean, I've had sharpshooter sheaths. I've got a GRE sheath. I've had sheaths from Blind Horse, sheaths from Diving Sparrow. I've got, uh, you know, just countless different uh, companies and and, uh, and their sheaths. And <laughs> this one just can't be beat. I don't know what else to say about it. It's really phenomenal. I absolutely, absolutely recommend you picking one of these up. If you're, uh, if you're thinking about it, just give Adam a call, drop him a message, an email, what have you. Check out his website, VoyagerLeatherworks.com. Check him out on Facebook, Voyager Leatherworks. And, uh, and just ask him any questions you have. I mean, it's an absolute joy dealing with him. He's a really great guy, phenomenal craftsman. You know, I just, like I said, I can't say enough about him, about uh, about his work. The sheaths are just phenomenal. And, uh, you know, the, the, they haven't let me down, and I, I absolutely do not expect them to let me down whatsoever. Just phenomenal work. So that's my Voyager of the Works Scout Sheath for my Bark River Bravo 1. Absolutely recommend you guys go check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Be well.